Hi guys, I do, do you know what, I just wanted to come on here because I'm, I'm blown away of all the nice messages I've got from people on YouTube. It's like a blessing when you know that there's people out there that are not nasty and vindictive. So I just wanted to come on here and just say thank you to everyone. I'm doing great. I don't actually, it's weird because... I was expecting to feel out of my face or out of my head or whatever, but I just feel really content. There's not not no pain. There's un, I'm uncomfortable because well, cause I've got this and I can't really do much with that hand, but as you well know, you need a, two hands with a phone. But um, I've got to stay like this for two days on my back and... It's giving me a backache and my bum cheeks are aching. But I can move a little bit, but I just can't... I can't move from this position. But I wanted to show you this, really. Well, don't be scared, I'm not going to get anything out. This blanket I've got on me, right? It is really good, right? It's really clever what they've done. It's got loads of pockets in it. Look, if you look at it, see all these pockets? Well, they've got, like, li little... Little... I don't know, I suppose I can call them little bricks. They've got like little bricks in them, right? And they put them in these pockets all over this blanket. That you've got it from top to bottom. And they actually, I think they bend them and there's a chemical reaction and they warm up and they stay warm for 10 hours. Because like some hospitals can be cold. I mean, I know some can be hot as well. But I just think it's brilliant because if I get too hot, I can just move it out of the way and then I cool right down because that temperature is constant. And I think it's a really, it's a brilliant idea. Whoever thought of that concept it was brilliant. But I've got these, I've got these boots on, right? Well, not their boots, they're up on my legs. I've got the socks on, what, what everyone has to wear. But I've got these things that pump up and go down. To, to circulate the blood in my legs. And like, that's a brilliant idea as well. They're saying like, a lot of people find them annoying, but I actually find them all right. Yeah, I don't, well, not all right, but they're not, they're not annoying me where I'm thinking, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to get to sleep. But yeah, I've got all my equipment. I'm on a drip at the moment, they put some antibiotics in me just so that I don't get no infections down there because everything's quite close together, as you can imagine. And we don't want to get no infections, do we? I just want to get get better and get out of here and move on with my life. But I've actually got, I've actually got a few projects that once I'm better, I'm going to probably be doing lives and showing you the progress of the projects. One of them... One of them's great. It's like a, a big garage, but they want it converted into like a little holiday um, flat thing or a bed sit with a log burner in, like all the traditional um, strips of wood on the outside. And I've got some really good ideas for that because I've always been in the building game and come up with inventive ideas of how to make things look. And I also... This is actually going to be a bit of a, a, a bit, a bit cheeky, but a little bit of a, a, an appeal. I've, I've found a hobby and it's fascinating me. And I'd really like to progress with that because I've, I find it interesting looking at old watches, broken old watches. So if anyone out there has got a broken old watch that's, sat in their drawer forever and they want they want to see me do a live taking it all apart and repairing it or even if it can't be repaired it will be good as donor parts i'm not i'm not looking for expensive watches or anything like that a lot of these a lot of these watches from the 50s and 60s are not actually expensive they i mean cuz they they're, cuz they're mass produced produced a lot of them they actually go for peanuts but if, if like people have got stories with them watches and they'd like to see me 
repair them or try to repair them, I'm right at the beginning. I mean, literally, I've been watching certain um, videos of people repairing watches for the last couple of months. And I'm really getting to grips with how they take these watches apart. And I'm not very good with the names, but I get what a lot of the parts are doing. And I'd love to do something like that. But I've obviously got to buy some of the tools. There's, there's quite a lot of watch tools out there, but you can get basic cheap kits to get going. And I'm really excited about this project. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get bored with it or not, but so far I've watched videos for two months and I'm loving what I'm seeing. And mm, I'd love to be able to bring some of them watches to life for some people. And if, if any watches do come my way that are sentimental and have got a story to you, I would love to be able to bring that back to life and send it back to you because that, 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 that would make my day. But anyway, getting back to all these lovely people on YouTube that have been wishing me well and sending me lovely messages, bless you. And um, to the trolls out there, just, you know, try and sort yourself out because life's so much better when you're happy and being nice to people. Being horrible and giggling and think it's funny, it's just, you're, you're, you're basically destroying yourself on YouTube because people wise up and no one watches you anymore. It becomes boring. People get to know who you are. And even when you get new people coming, you'll always get someone come in and explain to them exactly what you like, show them your links, let them see what you like. And you're just, it's a self-destruct button. So everyone start trying to be nice to everyone. You don't know how long you're on this planet for. I'm on this planet for a long, long time. So <laughs> I wish you all a lovely weekend. And I'll keep doing the updates on there. And uh, I probably will ignore the trolls, to be fair. You won't be getting no answers out of me, so don't frustrate yourself and send something that you think really important that you've got to say. Because I'm not interested. I'm moving on with my life and I've got plenty of interesting things coming up that I'd love to share with people that just want to watch that stuff. So I wish you all a good weekend and bless all the people that have really gone out of their way, all my friends real life friends that have made it possible for me to get here and looking after my pets and picking me up when I leave here and it like it's absolutely amazing and it really shows who, who your true friends are it really does I understand that some people can't do anything for you but they're there for me the messages are there and I love them all so thank you all and I'll see you soon